Craft in Seattle, Washington is a small machine shop manufacturing parts for aerospace, medical, and defense industries. When a larger order prompted the company to run production 24-7 by adding a third shift, Toolcraft faced a challenge. You know, nobody wants to run on third shift around here, but trying to hire for it, if they're simply, when you put an ad out, you're not getting very many responses. With unemployment at 3%, we decided to look at automating. We decided to go with the collaborative robot. I like the idea of our machinists being able to work alongside the robot, and that was a pretty appealing, not having a safety cage in the way, as you do with the industrial robot. When selecting a robot for a CNC machine tending application, precision is always a very big factor. And when we heard about the new E-Series that was coming out and heard that the repeatability of the UR5 specifically was down to 30 microns, we we're very excited as that really competes in the same space as traditional industrial robots. So that was huge for us. The new E-Series robot acts like a human operator because it has force feedback available in all the joints. So we're able to force a part into a very tight, precise locating fixture, and we can force it in there and wiggle it and program that compliance very easily to enable the basically a human touch with the robot. And some of the benefits we've seen right off were an increased production. We're able to staff that third shift, and we went from producing 255 parts a week to 370 parts per week. Along with that, we're able to finish our year's production seven weeks sooner, thus freeing up that machine to produce parts on other uh, jobs. We're able to see a decrease in cost by 23%. We're gonna be able to go and uh, be more competitive on a lot of the long-term work that we have. We chose a new Connect pneumatic gripper for this application, and a big factor in that was the fact that the new Connect gripper is UR Plus certified. That means it's certified to work with the universal robot right out of the box. We worked with an integrator he got us going on the first job, and he worked with our manufacturing engineer, Brian. Well, because Brian was able to work with Troy on the programming side, one or two hours. And with that, he was able to jump in and take off with programming the Universal Robots. Universal Robots has an academy that Brian went through. The UR Academy and the on-site training enabled Toolcraft to expand their cobot application with no external help adding a rinsing station to the cycle. So with the Universal Robot, it was neat to see how you can program offline. I'm thinking production's going down. We're gonna be down there for six hours while he's programming, setting up. We were both pretty fired up on the support that Universal gave us for get the, you know, to get that offline program up and rolling. We have one successful installation under our belt, and where we're gonna go in the future, I see us putting uh, installing one robot per year. Brian's able to go in, troubleshoot, get us back up on anything that comes up. Having that in-house is, is key. The next one we're going to look at is to be able to attend a horizontal mill. I think we're up for the task. I really do.